this is not a video about the uh, I will not be talking about the unity pricing changes like what the changes are I'm not going to speak about that there are so many other videos from larger channels than mine that will speak about it but what I want you as a developer and if you're listen this video will not appeal to everyone okay only a small minority of people that are watching this video and my channel is small so it even makes it smaller these are to the people who are more enlightened than the common folks that are that are that that usually watch youtube and i'm sorry to say that uh i was afraid that uh people will be you know very 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 uh very happy when unity rolls back or change or makes changes to their policy uh, they didn't actually roll back they just changed their policy in a way which uh, will make developers slowly and steadily trust them again and i just saw a video where they where basically developers stated that they won unity's pricing pricing is much more is, is different now it's it's different like uh, first they had this runtime fee they still have it but now there's a cap to it and i believe it's a 2.5 percent cap or something like that i didn't even like I, I didn't even take a look at it um but i did watch the video and in videos you the the video that i saw uh they, they didn't really show the table new table or anything like that so i don't know much about it what i am concerned about is uh number one unity is a proprietary piece of software that means that if they made um, these policy changes right now they still control the users it's it's proprietary it's not it's not free software so they can change the policy in the future as well and we might actually face a situation like this again unity has done this before as well you can take a look at uh, games from scratch they actually uh, games from scratch covered this in detail that unity had to roll back something that they did before which is very similar to what they did a few days ago and proprietary software companies do this apple does this they basically killed off uh, screen repairing uh by uh there are videos on that how they killed uh screen repair or screen replacement sorry they, re they killed screen replacement proprietary software proprietary hardware these the companies that have these control the user the user does not control the company does not control the software sorry the user does not control the software so my first concern is is that people will still be controlled by the proprietary piece of software as unity if they come back to it which they should i mean if it's if it's if it is required if that is what pays the bills they absolutely should but they should also have a backup plan which most unity developers do not have the second concern that i have is people thought that they had power and they changed the and they forced unity into making this decision that is not true the people did not change the change the uh change the uh, ch change unity's mind it's the dip in their stocks that changed their minds if we gathered together united and protested we would not have succeeded in making unity change their policy and in fact we i don't even think we succeeded in in telling unity that we don't like it unity simply did that because they believed that their bottom line will be affected that's what that's what i think happened because there was an issue with reddit as well and they didn't like they didn't change anything like reddit the reason why reddit didn't do that is because they weren't affected like they they weren't affected at all the protests that happened on reddit that they, they were they were like fine i mean if you don't know the situation with reddit reddit uh they're mo like a large number of people also united the same way as game developers did but uh red didn't do that because they weren't really being affected that i mean they were fine not they uh, they weren't being hurt financially so it's not us that uh that uh, it's not it's uh, we didn't do anything it's just that 
due to a certain due to the position that unity were in as uh, we are game developers and we used their product we actually kind of told them that we'll stop using their product and that's the reason why they basically had to make these changes it's not our voice it's not their care for us they didn't really care they just did it because they knew that they could go in the negative again it's not our power it's just that they were in a position where they had to do this because they could be affected if they were not being affected by the protest they wouldn't have been don't have done anything just like reddit didn't do anything when people were protesting because it did not affect them financially at all their that pro uh, protest i mean i'm not at all it's, a, it's probably an exaggeration it did a bit but it was so little that it didn't really matter and the larger thing at play here is that for years companies like electronic arts uh I believe it was Activision Blizzard. Okay, I will keep it. Electronic Arts have been exploit have been exploiting gamers. Have been doing have been have been uh, have been doing these surprise mechanics, kind of a loot boxes, you know, all of those things, right? And uh, we still, I mean, not me, I, I don't do that, but most people still buy the buy EA products, even though they know they're a pred they have got very predatory practices and stuff like that. So the uh, so what I'm trying to say is, is that um, we as human beings make the wrong decisions. We keep supporting people or companies, large companies that don't really, that, that, that shouldn't be supported. And sometimes we believe that what we have done actually changes them or forces them to change something yes forces them to change something of course money if it if it if it if it, uh, if it basically um affects their bottom line then of course they will change of course they will but it's not you they don't care about you it's not you that they care about trust me they don't very few companies do very few companies i'm not saying every company uh like companies don't most companies don't care about uh care about the end user they don't so there could be like the loot box when the loot box thing happened i was like just stop buying their games they're going to they're going to stop including loot boxes people didn't do that instead they you had videos about complaining about loot boxes and complaining about this and that just stop buying their games they're they're just going to they're just going to they'll, they'll have to like uh change their policy if you if you stop buying their games because then they're, they're going to be hurt financially so basically unity reverted the changes people who were like oh we're going to go to godot they're still they're, they're not going to go there they're, they're most of them are going to come back to unity they're going to start trusting unity again and i'm afraid that in the future unity is going to again make a decision which will affect affect people negatively what i've done in this in this uh in uh, what i've done is that i stopped working on a uh unity udemy course that i was working on for absolute beginners i'm going to continue working on that because i know for certain people are going to return back so now it makes sense for me to actually release that course but i'm also going to focus a lot on learning godot because that will be that I'll, i will basically move to godot as um uh, as a alternative just like i'm recording this video on linux and i use windows 10 too but i also have linux on the side in case you uh, in case windows makes a decision which affects my work so this is these are my thoughts on the unity pricing changes i think that um that we should be more careful using proprietary software i think if we if the company has uh basically done something wrong we can we can just stop buying their products and they'll be affected except for certain certain websites certain certain uh certain products like i don't think reddit is a pro i mean it is a website so uh, they weren't affected even if we stop using reddit i don't think uh, that they will be affected much or probably they will be i don't really know why didn't reddit be affected when when uh, when uh, the protest happened i don't know why like uh, they, they weren't affected i'm not sure uh, but yeah so what i'm basically saying is that um yeah it is what it is like um 
There's certain people that do get affected. I do not know whether uh, why Reddit did not change their APIs. It was basically the API thing that they didn't uh, they didn't uh, like uh, remove the price for a price tag from their APIs. They didn't do that. So uh, probably they weren't being affected. So if, if if companies are being affected, like if we stop buying EA games, they will be affected. So then they change their policy. Otherwise, they don't. Yeah, so that's really it. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel sorry uh, for the people who are very happy that Unity has changed their prices because they think that they did it, they did not. It's just that uh, Unity could find out that, uh, found out that they probably will go into negative again. So it's not, they didn't do it for you. They didn't do it. They would have absolutely gone ahead with that decision if they had figured out that uh, they could still make money even even if all of the game developers in the world protested, if they if they if they had something which could which could basically be a kind of a, a kind of like in a uh, like a uh, if they had a way to still go through with this, if if all the developers leaving in the world would not affect their revenue as somebody else would be giving the same amount of money because there are certain big companies that use a Unity, if they would be still making the same amount of money, even if if all of us left, if all of us indie developers left who protested, even though they would not really be affected by the runtime change, they would not be changing their, they would have not changed their policy. I think they calculated that even if all of these developers left, um, we, we would probably lose money because we wouldn't be getting the same amount of money from the big companies that will not leave Unity. I think that's basically the, basically the main thing. So again, uh, think about free software. Think about alternatives. Always have alternatives in mind. Like uh, you know, I am uh, I am a top rated seller on a particular website, but I also, even though I'm top rated there and I'm do I mean I'm just okay there. I mean I'm not really rolling in dough. I still continue to work on websites, other websites. Even if I have to start from zero, I do that. I'm learning Flutter. I'm learning Django. Even though I'm a game developer, I've always got alternatives in mind. Always, always alternatives in mind. Don't put your eggs in one basket. So yeah, so if you wish to support me, you can just uh, take a look at the description. There's a link to a Udemy course. There's a link to, uh, well, there's a link to my website. I, I, you can order a game from me and I can make a game for you. That's if you want to support me. You can also support me by liking and subscribing. And um, thank you.